Now today is uh, this is uh, Thursday. On Thursday we're talking about all lights matter to the universe to God. So one of the things we're doing tonight, uh, you guys in Mississippi, Arkansas, folks in Louisiana, are listening to us tonight, we still talking about all lights matter. And we're talking about one of the things we're talking about tonight. Get your pencil and paper, put it down. The uh, way they did copper nickel, way the, the NFL, the, they boycotted him. They didn't put him nowhere uh, because he kneeled down for the flag. That's one of the racism going on in America. And Trump is the head leader of racism and white supremacy. And those people that put Trump in, put him in a ticket to overcome the racism that's going on. Now I want to say to you that have called me, that have called on our internet, have looked at us, uh, Trump cannot stay in the White House. He, he, he always got, he spent over $60 million already, money he has spent. And that money he has spent is money that he supposed to be with bombs and all of that going back over because he's under a demonic kind of spirit. And uh, black folks build the White House and black folks build Washington, D.C. landscape by black folks. And even every time he said, he said what Obama didn't do, but he was brought in on the race ticket and everybody around him is rich. All the people he got is rich. He got Ben Carson, Ben Carson on Akatom, because he shouldn't have took that job because he's a surgeon. But you're going to take a job of uh, housing. That means that I'm a surgeon, I'm going to take a job cleaning housing. That's going to show you what the white folks think about black folks. Uh, and one of the things that I'm saying, uh, down in Mississippi, down in Natchez, Mississippi, 20,000 blacks was killed doing the state right out of Natchez is a place called the uh, it's called the Bowl the Valley Bowl right out of Natchez in the Natchez Trace 20,000 black was put and killed and never had a funeral or nothing uh, when I talk to Mr. White down in Natchez Mississippi we're going to do a ceremony down there in, in uh, this month or next month down there on Natchez Trail to do it so call this number, uh, I'm going to give you Mr. White number down in Mississippi, where you can call him and become involved with him. He's right there in Natchez. And, and even people in Jackson, the enmity of the Mega Elver, all of that thing is coming back up. That's some of the racist stuff that's going on in America now. We, uh, even Trump, that, uh, that been in the bed with Russia. Russia gave him his first money. Russia gave him money uh, to, to buy them a hotel, so he ain't gonna never say nothing bad about Russia. The Russian mafia gave him all of that, so I want you to be involved in that. I'm going to find Mr. White, and I want you to call him in Natchez, Mississippi. And uh, right now he's, uh, Doing some stuff in Natchez. And uh, okay, that's uh, uh, 601 786. Okay, I can't see that the number. Okay, this is the number right here. I know it's 601 got a different number. That's a Mississippi number. Oh, I want him to do the Chicago number. That's 773. That's 221-6745. And that's Brother White down in Natchez, Mississippi. And he, he's over the committee of M. Mateel and Meg Ever. He's over that committee. So give him a call. And uh, all life do model. And one of the things that what we're finding out tonight, that the whole uh, the white supremacy racism is part of uh, what's going on. 
Now, when I said white supremacy racism, Dr. Nilly Fuller talked about it, and he talked about the white supremacy and racism and the part of it that you don't own no parts, no nothing. Uh, highest white supremacy racism works. It works because the government, because the education system, white folks, uh, the songs, all that, they own everything. Your education, and that's that's why we in white supremacy racism right now in America. We don't own anything we're consuming. The reason Martin Luther King Jr. was killed, he wasn't killed because he was talking, he was killed because he was talking about economic development. He talking about shutting down Chicago, New York, California with a massive boycott of black folks. And when Dr. King did that automatically, he pulled the white community and the business people uh, when they see what he could do in Memphis. So that's some of the things that can happen. So Dr. King movement still alive, because the movement deal with people that was home, people that job, people in education. So the movement still alive. So tonight, uh, you can call this number and and be involved in the movement because the movement is still alive. The reason Malcolm was killed, Malcolm was killed. And Malcolm was talking about justice. And uh, Marcus Garvey was talking about, let's get the hell up out of here. Let's leave America. And Marcus Garvey was telling black folks to get up out of America. Now, Dr. King was talking about, uh, we want our rights and we want equality. Okay, All three black leaders was killed based on black folks not moving to the next level. You know, they get a new car, they go to school, get education, they forget where they come from. The little boy said it the other day, he said when a black man, and he, he get, he uh, go to the NBA, okay, get the NBA, Peace and love, he get the NBA and he's still in the NBA. When he get there, peace and love, yeah, right now I'm uh, cutting the tape. I have to call you back. Okay. And uh, he get on the NBA and first thing he want is a Cadillac and a white woman. And this is some of the stuff that's happening within the black experience now that we're finding out that brothers and sisters is not taking care of the black community. Because if, if they get a little money for their meal, they, they forget us, they forget the masses. The, the killing that's going on is the killing that's going on. I, I, I was with a meeting today and we asked, I asked the question, what do a kid want to hijack a car? He don't have no money. Put a gun on somebody to take a car. The car got the GPS on it. He can't go two blocks. He gonna be caught and killed. Uh, like what happened over in Dalton. The man, the boy put the gun on the man and said, stick up, give me your car. Didn't ask for the money yet for the car. The man gave him the car. When he got in the car, the man shot him dead. Shot him six times. Police called me, said I gotta carry, stole my car. What mindset that young folks still in cars? What does that mean? What, what's the value of a car over your life? What's the value of a car over your education? Okay. Now, that's the mindset that's going on today with young folks. They have no values. Their value is a car, you know, $2 in their pocket, you know. This is from the massive rap, the line, the rap that the Jews have let, have paid for to get 50 cents, all these drugs, rapping, and they're rapping and calling women bitches and hoes, all their evil stuff being sent to our community. Now, and uh, right now, when they say they got a group to all lives matter, I agree. All lives matter, not just black life, every life matter to God. 
And when you understand that, you have to work with that. That matter. So tonight, as we come at this 10 o'clock hour, we talk about all lights matter. It's to the point where we see the racism have come back uh, to America. We see that some of the stuff that's going on. I I played that tape, that Obama tape. Now Obama didn't get a chance to do some of the stuff that he wanted to do because the same Republicans. And half the Democrats was fighting him too. So he was just getting fight by the Republican Democrats fighting him too. Now, what does that really mean? I don't care where you at. If you're a black man, you're gonna catch hell in America. Because our ancestors were killed, raped, killed, burnt, shot, all that happened. And then and 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 some of the things you got to say. The reason we act like we act is because of slavery. Now, some of you try to, and most black, they get ready to get out of slavery. The black men say, well, if I get me a white woman and marry her, I'll be accepted. The white folks ain't accepted, you can marry 10 white women. The black women, the, they get them a white man, they think they accepted. You still black, you still unaccepted in America. And like Marcus Garvey said, if you don't get the hell up out of him, you ain't gonna, I got you get your own. Uh, Dr. King said that he wasn't gonna leave America because his ancestor built it. His mom, his great grandma, they built America. He ain't going nowhere to make America work. One of the racist presidents we ever had in the office is Trump. And one of the craziest men in office is Trump. Now, knowing that, understanding that, that the war, you know, he wanted to jump on this little bit of country. He ain't said nothing about all what Russia did. And he said it's good that Russia let the people go because he owed Russia. Him and Russia is in the bed together. That's that's a known. That's the way he won the election. Now, you like to call in, call our hotline. Call our line down in Mississippi, our line in Baton Rouge, call our line here in Chicago. Call the line and uh, and leave your information, what you want to say about what we're talking about tonight. And uh, from 11 to 12, uh, we'll be on talking. So it's important for you. Uh, I got Brother White down in Mississippi, down in Natchez, Mississippi. He's working on the location where the 20,000 blacks was killed. It, you know, you, you're talking about uh, 6 million Jews. 6 million Jews ain't nothing to over 100 million blacks that were killed and, and brought him and was killed and murdered and ain't nobody said nothing about. And we didn't get the reparation. The Jews got reparation. Everybody got a reparation but the black man. Even the Native American got a reparation. Everybody got a reparation but the black man. They promised 40 acres of music. We didn't get the 40 acres of music. Okay, I see your hand up. Uh, I see your hands up too. But if we didn't get the 40 acres in the music, and the black politicians didn't push for it, you know, I guess they are so loud. So that's one of the things we're talking about tonight. But all lives matter at this hour. So get ready for uh, those that have called, want doors to open up for them, that ask for a, a breakthrough in their lives and get uh, some of the stuff that happened. It seems like that it's time for you to uh, uh, stand up and get the breakthrough that you need to open the door up. Mm -hmm. And I think that will work very good. I'm waiting on Brother White to come on. Well, we we Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to put a white 
come out from this sick lady, come out. See what he has to say. Hey, what's happening, Brother White? What's going on? Yeah. What's happening? You done made it on? Oh, I thought you were still down in Texas. Yeah. Well, Father, well, I might go back down there. She's my brother's down there. Uh, she's my brother's down there. Dallas, you're in Dallas. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, uh, 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 San Antonio. No, it's El it's uh, El No, 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 no. It's It's uh, Okay, Arlington. That's in Dallas. Arlington. Yeah. Uh huh. Well, you see what you see what's going on with Trump, don't you? That stuff unfolding for him. All them lies. I told you. Just like you said, Doc. Yeah, he he can stay. He can he can he, look. He can stay in the White House so he can come out to his golfing thing. Uh huh. Oh, you're gonna take the, you're gonna take that other tractor, the other truck, and carry it and and uh. And go get the load and take it where it's supposed to go. Yeah. Okay. And then, uh, but then I have, I have two tractors working there. Yeah. Okay. That's, uh huh. So, I mean, it looks bad in one direction, but then when you look at it, it's good because I got it. I don't know. I'm getting another tractor on the on the highway. Oh well, that's good then. That's good. Mm -hmm. So you get you getting nothing on the highway. Uh, that's going on the highway already. Right. See that's mm. the one. The one that broke down. See, uh, that's the one that last month it made seventeen thousand dollars from it. Okay, that's the one that broke down. He want to have, he want a couple sack of pecans to put up there on the market up there in Canton. Well, I got a tree full of them. When you come down, you usually. Yeah, because he called me today, and I told him I, I told him I had to get with you, and see what was going on with that, because he said he wanted to set up a little stand on the side of the road, in front of his house, because he right there on 51. And he's going right down now, 51, so he could, uh, I'll show you. yeah. I'll show you what's up now, yeah. I, I live about two, uh, about 100 miles of a car. I'm done for them. Mm-hmm. Because I didn't keep them, so that guy, he don't have time, but I got a, like the tree in my backyard is loaded with them, but I don't, I don't get them all fall off. Well, you got to get somebody to harvest them, you know. Let me tell you something, though. Man, 
Well, I know that we got to get some people that want to that want to work and open up the doors. I know that. Uh, but uh, I was talking to people down in, in New Orleans. They said they got plenty of floods down in New Orleans. So they had a big flood. So the mayor fired everybody. So they, they, <laughs> so they didn't open them pumps up. They fired everybody. Uh -huh. I had a girl to call me from down there. He, he fired. He fired the water. The man over the water department didn't open them. Didn't pump. Didn't open them pump to pump that water out. They had that rain. Yeah. And they uh, didn't pump that water out. Right. And I'm telling them all lies matter to God. That's what they got to do. Okay. Uh huh. But you you can that you can the truck down there, the tractor down there to Texas. You you taking the truck down to Texas? Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. Well, that's a good deal then. Hold, hold on, hold on. Peace and love. Yeah. Now where you at? I'm in the car. Well, come on then. I, I, come on, I'll see you at the other table. Come on. I'm talking to Mr. White on another line, so come on. Hello? That, that, was one of your, that was one of your students from CVS called me. Want to know when you coming up here? Yeah. When you coming yeah. up here? Yeah. Uh, uh, you know the the African girl. I want to know when you coming up here. I told her. I don't know when you were coming. Huh? Well, she coming in now. I'll let you talk to her. She will be coming in. I'm going to let you talk to her. I know 